What's going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's episode, we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Stellar Lumens to US dollar. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. This way you won't miss out on any of the latest content on cryptocurrency. Um, otherwise, let's get into today's episode. So we will be looking at the market cap as well as the uh, an article posted by the Daily Hoddle that basically says crypto mass adoption app bringing Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash to Starbucks and mainstream merchants worldwide. This is major news, and I do want to touch upon that before uh, it becomes old, and I definitely wanted to bring this up in a video. So um, let's just quickly jump onto this coin market cap, get a quick view of the way the market is trending. And then we'll jump into that article really quick. So right now off the bat, I see that the market cap is $302 billion, which is very, very, very nice to see that we are finally broken above uh, 300 billion. Hopefully we can stay above that. I know before we were teeter tottering on it and we broke below, but hopefully for right now we can stay above. Um, otherwise, the Bitcoin dominance is 46.9%, so pretty high for what I've seen. Uh, we were at a little over 47.3%, I believe, two days ago. So we are kind of teeter-tottering on that, nothing too bad. Uh, reason for that is Bitcoin seems to be doing quite well the past few days. Bitcoin at $8,254, up 1.28%. Ethereum at 478, up 1%. And then let's look at Litecoin, which is down only 0.2%. So nothing too much, just a uh, another day of consolidation. But at around $87, that's not too bad. Stellar at $0.32, cents, up 2.77%. So we're definitely going to talk about that. I know we saw a huge run about two days ago. So um, let's just check out this article really quick. So we saw that a lot of mass adoption may be happening within cryptocurrency. So a new one tap mobile payment app has launched its closed beta, allowing users to load Bitcoin, Ethereum, all those other cryptocurrencies, especially Litecoin, and pay for items at stores like Starbucks, Nordstrom, without having to manage cryptographic keys. Is this the next wave to the future? We will find out. Flexa users can take their phones to go shopping in real world tapping once for a flex code and swiping at a merchant's POS terminal to complete the transaction. The app manages the amount and the wallet address, converting the cryptocurrency payment at the market rate. So that's definitely a pretty cool, uh, you know, idea. It's in beta, so we'll see what happens when it goes uh, public. The goal is to allow Flexa users to spend Litecoin at Nordstrom or Bitcoin at Starbucks or any combination of cryptocurrencies at shops in over 35,000 locations worldwide. That is very big news, guys. Uh, so they do have videos of them using the app. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Uh, I guess I'll post a link in the description. It says the New York based company was founded in 2018 by Kathleen Pierce Gilmore, a former PayPal executive uh, and other developers at American Expe Express and vice versa. The development team aims to transform payment platforms by eliminating fraud and giving people the freedom to choose their preferred method of payment. So I guess we'll just click this and see what it has to do. Uh, if it works, yeah, here we go. Click play. So it's loading up Starbucks. So it's a key that they just scan. Just like that. And then I guess, bam, it was already deducted from his, uh, from his account. So that's pretty cool that they can now have that technology and it can be used. So it makes virtually payments pretty freaking easy. Just paid in Bitcoin with Flex HQ at Starbucks. The transaction took less than five seconds. I'm absolutely blown away with how simple and easy this is. We'll definitely be supporting this team. So that's pretty cool technology that you can literally just take any payment you want convert it into your cryptocurrency that you want to spend and bam would i recommend using it right this second uh probably not because the market is quite low so i don't think it'd be smart to uh spend money like that because it may be worth a lot more that two dollar macchiato at starbucks may be more like 50 or 70 dollars when uh, the market goes back up but it's definitely a tool to use i would definitely recommend downloading this app checking it out uh if you have the app or you've heard of it please leave a comment. I'd love to know more feedback on it. Would you use the app? Is it something you've used before? Uh, definitely interested in it. And I'm probably going to download the app right after uh, this video. So that definitely is a pretty cool tech 
uh, similar to like other wallets, but this definitely makes it a lot more simpler. So definitely check it out. Uh, we're just going to look really quick at some TA right now. We're going to check out Litecoin. And Litecoin seems to just be doing some consolidation like we said in yesterday's episode. Uh, you can see we are kind of on this movement upwards. Uh, you can see we're holding resistance at around $90. So that's nothing too crazy. Uh, and definitely holding that support at 85 which definitely looks really nice to see that we're finally moving back up. We are still setting higher lows so that it is definitely a good thing. Um, otherwise, we do are just we're just seeing consolidation, which is definitely very good to see reason being is we were entering that overbought territory but the fact that the price is practically staying at the same level and we're just consolidating and lowering down that rsi is definitely a good thing it gives us more potential to see a higher run very 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 soon so basically 90 is to beat and um, there's a clear resistance at $95 up here. So two channels it needs to break through, but with the consolidation and the pulling back, we should be okay to, uh, to move up to there very soon. You can see right here where we saw that resistance at 90, uh, 95 to be exact, uh, the downtrend we broke bullish, and now we're just trapped in this consolidation point. We do look very, very, very good on that high low, uh, sorry, on that RSI. So it's just a matter of waiting to see what Bitcoin does, and then we should uh, be able to blast off very soon. 95 being the resistance to beat, and 90 being the current resistance. Uh, as for Bitcoin, if you guys check it out, we do look very nice on the uh, four hour charts. You can see that we're just consolidating. We're using this uptrend right here. This um, this uptrend seems to be holding quite well. You can see in the past on the four hour, uh, we broke bullish from the reverse head and shoulders. And now we're just continuing up. I do think we're going to see a little bit more consolidation. So don't so just be patient with me, guys. Um, we're kind of just need to trade sideways for a little bit until we can retest this uptrend and continue to uh to blast off from it clear resistance at that eighty eight hundred dollar level we'll get into that in a second maybe eighty seven eighty nine hundred dollar level closer to that nine thousand dollar range but some consolidation i'll draw for you just trading this way and then we'll see maybe a push upwards definitely something to look for but that is where we are headed uh if we check out the daily right now we'll get a better look at what's happening you can see how right now we are in that overbought territory so we do need to see some consolidation similar to litecoin which pulled back down we now need to see bitcoin pull back down we're still in that overbought region which means we need to do some consolidation or we need to see some type of retracement clearly we're going to start hopefully using this high low mma as an area of support but for right now a consolidation to the right a few more days and we should be able to lower this high low i mean sorry lower this rsi back down into a more neutral territory and then be able to move the price up higher so definitely expect another day or two of consolidation but um, I'll be here every step of the way so just hold on and uh, keep hodling otherwise let's check out ethereum the last of the uh, blue chips that we will go over so you can see how right now with ethereum we do break bullish from the downtrend and we're just in a consolidation point you can see we're holding support quite nicely at that $470 range and facing some resistance at the $480 range. So a very small channel that we're having some issues with. We do look very nice on that RSI though. So nothing to be truly worried about. You can see how we managed. We were in a long resistance for this high-low MMA and the price level could not break that high-low MMA. We finally did after this downtrend broke off the bottom or the top of the downtrend, broke bullish and are now using this as support, which is a very th nice thing to see that we're using this high-low MMA as support. We're just waiting to uh, get that volume injection into the market, and then we should see Ethereum over $500 very soon. So do be patient with that if you have some in your portfolio. Lastly, let's talk about Stellar for all those who are holding. I know the uh, there's been a lot of price action recently, so I do want to just draw on some lines. I'm just going to jump over to the daily. I feel like that'll be a better indicator you can see how we do have a few lines of support and resistance right here you can see how we broke bullish from this descending triangle right there which is interesting because we then retested the line for a double bottom in indicating a break upwards so nothing that wasn't uh in play or couldn't have been called you can see the clear double bottom i'll draw that for those who can't notice it but one here one there Two, uh, two double bot or one double bottom, two points of contact, broke bullish, shooting back up, faced some resistance, and in the, 
at the high low MMA now using it as support, which is very nice to see. Um, we pulled up not too bad, faced that resistance right here. You can see where we have these wicks overhead, uh, pulled back down, used the uh, high low MMA as support and now broke up again. You can see there is just major resistance at this level right here at around 33 cents. So that is why we're facing some trouble. You know, we were entering that overbought region, which is why we're seeing some uh, manipulation in the price. But you know, if we just consolidate from that point trade sideways, we should be able to see another run soon. Uh, just be worrisome because of the price being near that overbought area. We're not necessarily in it right now, but we're right on the cuff. So in time, hopefully it can consolidate, if not pull right back down to this high low MMA, bounce off that for a double bottom and shoot and break right past that 33 cent mark. But um, that's going to sum up the video for today, guys. Uh, just a tip. Hopefully you guys noticed, but I, I am using my Sony mirrorless A6000 to record this episode. I'm not using my uh, MacBook Pro camera. So hopefully that makes a difference. I am also using my brand new uh, circular light in the camera. You could probably see it in my eyes. So hopefully that makes a difference in these videos. Uh, I have a new setup coming when I get my apartment at the end of August. So I'll have a video on that on my personal channel. Link in the description if you haven't seen that already. But um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Please make sure to subscribe.